Good morning. So it's uh, it's first thing in the morning on a very cold Washington D.C. morning, and I am sick as a dog. So I'm going to keep this short and sweet if I can. So in the past couple weeks, even though it's not like it's an uber advanced kind of technique or anything, I've been having a whole lot of fun with uh, with these buzzsaw flowers, specifically uh, the same time, same direction variant. Mainly because I haven't played around a whole lot with same time, same direction kind of stuff, and uh, I like the way it feels. <clears throat> Plus, it's just something people don't often see. So, playing around with this has led me to uh, asymmetrical variations on it, like say this, where I'm doing a loop on one side and extension on the other side, and I'm alternating which hand does it. Once again, it's really, really simple, but I think it looks really cool. And all it is is doing the loop on one side, usually it's the inside hand, and doing the extension back out to the other side. Left hand, same story. Add it up. And it creates this cool little pattern. Which, of course, is uh, building up to the, uh, the buzzsaw fountain. <clears throat> Which I think I'm doing an extra turn on my right hand side, right, right here, when I'm about to pass it back over. So I'm still trying to figure out how to make that go away. And also, how to make the transition on the fly to the anti-spin variation. Which also, as I have been told, is not so clean on the bottom side. I think DJ picked up that I'm doing an extra, an extra loop down there. So. Still trying to figure out how to sort that out, but for the time being, I'm content having these both looking the way that they are. Although perfectionist that I am, I will be going back and retraining myself how to do them relatively soon, I'm sure. <clears throat> um, other asymmetrical variation I've been working on based upon that is split time butterflies. Which, once again, inside hand does the loop, outside hand does the extension. And, uh, yeah, so it's just, yeah. Loop, extension, loop, extension, loop, extension, loop, extension. And you add it up. It's really just a variant on this principle. Next, um, so in order to get some help with my working out all of the uh, all the hybrids in the unit circle, I got in contact with Haley and John and asked him uh, what I can do about cleaning up these isolations of mine. <clears throat> And he had the very, very nice suggestion of actually going through and learning how to turn with each variation to really get uh, to really get those isolations looking good, which they're actually not looking too bad this morning. So um, I've only been trying based upon this first variation. I figure that is enough. Oops enough to start with. And I had a bitch of a time even just getting that done. So um, also part and parcel with this, he mentioned doing it. Imagine the plane is right in front of you and your feet are kind of spread out at a 45 degree angle from it. So you guys can't see this but like uh, yeah feet are at a 45 degree angle, I just described it. Uh, and you get the two pieces moving within both an internal plane and an external plane. And you work on turning with it. Uh, never let it be 
you said, guys, that I don't want you to see my fuck ups. Anyways, um, <clears throat> finally, so many weeks ago, Mir and I released an awesome tech video that had this 1.5 in it. And I could not figure it out for the life of me. But now, oops. Now I've at least got the concept enough down to demonstrate it. And it's actually not as hard as I thought it was. But, uh, yeah, doing it has opened up all kinds of other ideas to me. So, um, probably the Tech Ploy blog next week is going to feature them because I just don't have the time this week. But, uh, suffice it to say, I like this. But it really messed with my head. And the reasons why will make a very interesting tech block. Whoops. <clears throat> I still don't have a perfect. No. Perfection is what we strive to attain. So, yeah, there it is. <clears throat> yeah, anyway. Once you get down to basic movement of it and everything, it is not that hard to pull it off in relation to some other moves. Yep, so that's this week. Thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you soon, hopefully when I'm a little less froggy and the vitamin C is flowing a little less like water. Peace.